Well, good morning, Mr. Scout. How are you? If he could talk to me, he'd probably say I'm starving. Just fed you like 10 hours ago, dude. But what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the first time we have ever had a straight 24 hours and they have not knocked over their water dishes, which I'm very impressed. These pigs, I'm telling you, they don't like they do not wake up until you come out here and wake them up. It's about 11:30 a.m. So you can hear them snorting around now. They're waking up. Come on, he's lazy as a pig sleeping in this lake. You see little nose and ears sticking up out of the straw out there. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hopefully, you guys are doing great. A couple of things we got to do today. First thing we got to take care of is Scout's little run needs some cleaning action because he is starting to mess it up again. And to keep him distracted while I clean up his run is a method that seems to always work and that's feeding him. Time to get to work. So I put the chickens in this little feed bin here that's attached to the walls for the horses just so I can clean out their um, tub because it hasn't been cleaned out yet. So all I'm doing is trying to get it to one side and then we'll dump it in that little trailer. Malachi has and he can take it back with the manure since it has little um, bird droppings in it so that's what I'm doing. chickies but anyways have you ever told them what chickens we got? No I have no nope, nope. right. so we have um five Plymouth Rocks I believe three Rhode Island Reds and then two Americanas so far and we just ordered actually four Cac Campbells which those are ducks if you don't know and then I'm also looking into getting a breed a chicken that's solid black, but basically because they represent or look like crows to hawks, so then they don't mess with a uh, flock because these guys are going to be free range. So um, that's what I'm trying to find. But let's get the heat lamp on these guys because I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Next week we'll be back at changing the shavings again, and as you can tell, they already have their feathers coming in more and more every day, so they aren't going to be fuzzy for long. And now they're going to be a little bit happier because they have their light on. But as you can see, we just let it hang there low so they can go underneath it and just clamp to that board. We had it clamped on this, um, but we're just trying to, it's been really cold, so we've been trying to get the light a little bit closer to them. But yeah, chicks are doing good. There you go. New project starting today. Wasn't really part of the video, but it's going to become part of the video. So um, by the time you see this video, yes, we did pick up some whiskey barrels. Those are actually for my dad for his birthday because he really wanted some. Got the lumber here to build a chicken coop. So that's what we're going to get started on right now. We're trying to bury the kiddie pool in there so they can cool off. We don't know quite why they look a little bit sunburnt. It hasn't been too hot here. Um, I don't know if it's from the heat lamp. All I know is today, uh, it's a little over 60 and it's just warm enough for me to kind of yeah. sweat when I'm out here walking around. It's not sunny, it's cloudy, so I don't know, but they are pigs, so they don't have a lot of fur on them. So we're trying to 
have an area for them to cool off if they want. Yeah, eventually we're gonna have to get some tarps or shade or something. They're pigs, I mean. They're just gonna do what they wanna do. What? What? I know you just got food. I'm not gonna try to bury it. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit so they don't rip it up out of here. They might not go in it at all. I don't know, but we'll yeah, see. <laughs> They're trying to tip it, so we can try as you can see, but it's a little bit heavier. I don't think they're gonna be able to. But yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's just an option if they want to cool off or anything like that. But as you can see, they're already trying to tip it. So We'll see how long that lasts. Well, it's the next day. Scout came out here to greet me this morning, and I came out to greet him. You got the pigs out here bright and early. This is the first time you guys are up before 10 a.m. I cannot believe it. They're out here eating away. Here's the progress of the chicken coop. We just started on it, actually, yesterday afternoon, so we didn't get a lot of headway on this um, but we did at least start to structure the coop itself and as you can see we've got um, that far wall leveled out this side is not done yet we have to yet run a level across the top these two might be pretty level like the top of this two by four to the top of that two by four but they could be off a little bit so we're gonna run a board across the top real quick we're gonna throw a level on it and see where we got to move either that set of framing or this set of framing up or down a little bit to make sure it's totally flush. But other than that, I do have to run back to Menards because I completely forgot that I need to grab four 10 foot two by fours and four 12 foot two by fours to be able to finish the framing for the coop and the run. hours later it's been oh they also Reagan threw up a little uh, pig shade so they can be outside where the air is blowing and have some shade if they don't want to be in that warm pig hut this is a progress on the chicken mansion <laughs> it's the idea was a chicken coop but I tend to go a little bit extreme with certain things and uh, it's a little bit on the big side I mean it's a uh, it's a big chicken coop it's gonna be big. So the actual ceiling space is gonna be seven foot. It's seven foot to the top. Why so tall? I really don't know why it has to be so tall because it, it really doesn't have to be. I guess I just kind of remember as a kid, like my dad's chicken coop, mostly for the exterior part, like the run area. The ceiling was like four and a half feet maybe. And so after I was about 11, 12, I was like having to crouch down from that age to 16, 17 when I'm in there like cleaning up manure and crap. And so it was just a real pain in the butt and I remember hating it as a kid. And I'm like, okay, long term, I don't want this stinking thing to be ceilings this high and then you're crouched down and having aches and pains in your neck and back, you know, when you gotta clean, you know, the chicken manure out. So we made it a little bit on the big side, um, but I think long term we're gonna like this a lot more. In terms of this wall, the dimensions, it's 10 foot wide side to side and then so that actually worked nice for all those boards they could just be 10 foot even and then the width is five foot so on the back side we're going to be able to take one 10 foot board cut it in half and just throw them up and then this outer section is 11 foot post to post and i feel like that's going to be plenty of run let me step back here and show you how much space that's really going to be so we're not gonna box in everything out here though. We're gonna use wiring like this and we're going to like board up probably 15 inches up off the ground, give or take. And then we're going to board three or four boards down on the top 
And then there's gonna be an entire middle section that's just gonna be open with this, so there's plenty of air blowing in and out of there. Same with this side, it's gonna be the exact same. We're gonna have a man door, though, to come in and out. Probably, would you say on this side or the other side? That side. Okay. So, well, I mean, I guess we could put one on both sides technically, but we'll probably just put one on this side. So that way when we want to let the chickens free range, we're going to run fencing like this also. We're going to unravel a whole thing of it down this fence too to keep them going into the neighbor's yard. Um, but anyways, that way we can open it up, let the chickens go down out into there, which we're also thinking about throwing a pond in right here because as you can see, it holds water and it's held water ever since the snow melted off over a month ago well except for when we got another six inches the other day out of the blue but this this whole area just holds water i mean it has just held water since we moved in here almost two months ago now and so we're just probably going to dig out this whole low spot here into a pond and then mound it all up on this half over here so that there's still a level area to get across to mow for a scout to walk around stuff like that um but yeah that's the uh that's the update. This has been two days of progress. Um, not two full days, basically two half days of progress. But I think the biggest thing was just digging out the post holes and putting the posts in and making sure everything was flush and squared away because that was probably the most time consuming part of it. But now that that's out of the way, it's, uh, it's going along pretty smooth. We are probably gonna insulate on the inside. We're probably gonna throw insulation in between the two by fours there uh, all the way down the side and then throw some OSB up. But uh, what we do for insulation, that's still uh, on the table, but that, that is the plan. And then for the roof, we're probably gonna do, we could do a couple of things. We could do um, a double-sided, you know, which is just like your traditional roof where it goes up to a point and then down off the other side, you know. Or we could do a slant, which basically we could make it to where this would be like the front side of the chicken coop, I guess you could say. And then basically it would, like the water would slant off the top and run off down to that low spot. If we do put a pond in there, um, the water would just run off the roof and go downhill, throw a um, downspout on it or something to run it down the hill. But, uh, but yeah, this is the progress. Well, everybody, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sun is blasting me in the eyeballs right now. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the LMP Homestead channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you in the next video.